What's up guys? This is Indian G100 here. And um yeah, it's been some time since I've posted a video. Um just wanted to give you guys a quick, you know, what's up on what's going on. Uh the uh 62 Impala which is underneath this box over here is just about done you know ready for the photo shoot and everything but there's one problem now I got another paint issue with this uh, rear panel you know for the trunk I mean I've stripped this thing like three times already and you know did wet sanding and all that good stuff and the paint just won't stick so I'm gonna strip it again and you know, give it another go and see if it works out. I'm probably gonna, pr you know, so you know, it's just frustrating right now with this thing. I just need to get this thing looking good and just pop it on to the Impala and then you know, I'm ready to go, but just not happening. So, you guys, sorry guys, but it's gonna take you know, maybe another week for this thing to dry and hopefully work. So that's frustrating. Um, in the meantime, I've been working on this kit right here, the Ravel's Jaguar E-Type. Um, probably one of the best sports cars ever made because it had just awesome body lines, you know, very aerodynamic. Its engine was pretty powerful for its day. I think it was like a I think 256 horsepower V6 cylinder. Um, could go like 150 miles per hour top speed for this car this car was actually made from 1960s to around like 72 so it had a pretty long run um, so yeah um, this kit isn't the best kit because it has a lot of flash and you know a lot of uh, molding lines and there aren't any fit issues yet but I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some fit issue fit issues. Um, I had to do so much cleanup, like literally, like like I just put the parts in here. I mean, these parts are looking bad. They have a lot of flash and a lot of other crap on it. I do like spend like an hour or two just trimming and sanding each part. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's not a bad kit, you know. I mean, if you just you know get it all trimmed out and everything then it's probably a pretty good kit it has a few you know optional parts but overall it has pretty limited number of parts um, it's a skill level 5 right there you can see that um, I don't know I guess in the Revel, U Revel USA it's only like skill level 1, 2, 3 but here it's skill level 5 so um, here's some of the picks So, I mean, it's a pretty good kid. You know, I love these Jaguars. You know, classical European cars. Good stuff. Um, so, I'll be building this. I also have to um, get ready for the uh, Lowriders model contest. If any guys know Lowrider Model Inc., it's like a Facebook uh, club. Um, Hustler1211 is the, oh, uh, is the, uh, the head boss of that club. So, um you know, if you guys wanna join it, you know, it's a lot of fun. So other than that, just you know, what's up or what's going on right now? I mean, this is just very frustrating. Just trying to get this thing to look decent is just like beyond my control right now. So some way, somehow, I'm just gonna have to make this work. I don't know how. One thing I've learned though, I am not buying um, cheap paint again because this paint was like a dollar. Not worth it, guys. I mean, I I think I'd rather pay like four dollars for a can and you know get good results, not go through like so much trouble and freaking it's annoying. Um, for this car, I'll be painting for the Jaguar. I'm painting this color. It's called the uh, Gloss Coha Brown. It's by Rustoleum. Um, I already painted some of the parts and. The paint kind of like messed up on me again. Like I, I, I've been having a lot of paint issues lately. I mean, this paint just 
like it's my first time using Rust-Oleum, so I don't know. But I'm gonna um try a classic uh plastic 101's um uh tip that he had on his video. You know, um just prime the body and your part or whatever and then just paint over it. So the primer will hide a lot of stuff. Um so probably wanna use that tip. Uh so yeah guys, um I'll have a video in a week or so for the 62 Impala and uh, look out for some updates on the Jaguar E-Type. A lot of good videos out there. Keep them rolling. Um, keep on building and I'll talk to you guys later.